G'day everyone, uh, this is Jim at Red Trucks. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, um, it's, it's my very first uh, fan mail, the very first unboxing from a, a fellow collector. Um, most of you guys will probably know him, his name is Paul Spar or Sparky to his mates. Uh, I first interacted with Paul probably a couple of years ago, it was either on building the ultimate diecast uh, Building the Ultimate Matchbox Collection, or uh, Diecast Dude, I'm not sure which one it was, but um, I remember reading his, his first comment I ever saw, and it was uh, written in Germany, in German, and further down it was also translated to English, and I thought, wow, this guy's, he cares so much that he's, he's written all this comment in two languages. And I know how hard it is because he's a one one finger typer like myself. So yeah, over the years we've interacted, we've commented to each other, and he developed a uh, a love of fire trucks as well. Um, I guess through me, possibly. So one day he said to me, <clears throat> "Excuse me," he was going to build me a Evo squad of um, fire trucks, customized fire trucks. So I thought, great, yeah, I can't wait to get them. Um, so time passed, he sent me updates of the progress, and eventually the box arrived. It probably arrived about two or three weeks ago. I've, I've just been waiting for the right time to open it when I've got the house to myself and I've got privacy. So yeah, and today is the day we're going to open it and have a look. Um, I did get some instructions from Sparky uh, to be very careful opening them because of the very delicate uh, aerials and, and ladders so I did as instructed and um, I had a couple little breakages which I fixed up uh, I'll tell you about them later um, so let's get into it anyway I don't want to keep you guys too long so I received um, this handwritten letter from Sparky I won't go into details I'll just show you that and also a couple of very nice um, photos of the, the models so there's that one and this one so that was really nice as well I thought so I'll keep these photos in that letter and all right let's get into the models um, I'm going to leave the best to last. Um, so let's look at a couple of um, carded models that Paul has customized. First one is a Toyota Hilux pickup. <clears throat> um, I don't think I'll open these. I'll keep them carded, keep them in a package. Um, yeah, because it's easier to store. I don't want to damage them. So it looks like he's de done some detail on the headlights. I can't be sure. I don't know how this model was originally because I don't collect um, cars unless they're fire chief cars. But nice colour. Um, underneath, I'd say he's chromed the exhaust system and the diff. Uh, it's possible. I think he's put some customised wheels on as well. He's uh, chromed the door handles for running board at the back. I'm not sure if he did the Toyota Hilux. Possibly not. Most likely he detailed the reversing lights in chrome. I'll just grab a torch. Because I think he's done some detail inside, yeah. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that now. Inside, the seats have been detailed with red and brown, the dashboard, the steering wheel. Wow, that's a lot of detail in there. The back seats have been done as well. It's a very nice, yeah, I actually drive a Hilux myself, not this model. A much older Hilux SR5, which is due to be replaced soon. So very nice, thanks, Paul. Okay, next one. 
let's just put them, line them up at the back. Next one is a Hot Wheels, a uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. Again, I'm not sure of the original model. Uh, it's possible they're custom wheels. I think he's definitely chromed the door hinges and door handle. Uh, to say for sure, he's detailed the winch and the Toyota badging and lights and indicators. Underneath, he's attached an aerial for me to um, fit to the vehicle one day when I display it. He's chromed the exhaust pipe. I don't know how he makes those aerials so thin. At the back, um, I think he's detailed the Toyota logo and definitely the lights. In the tray, there's, I think it's pretty standard. Oh, a bit of chroming on the protection on the rear window. Uh, let's grab the torch again, have a look in inside. Yep, he's detailed the steering wheel. Can just see a bit of brown, I believe. Oh, he's chromed the side mirrors as well. And he's painted the seats and the dashboard. Okay, very nice. All right, that's the second one. <clears throat> okay, third one. I'll just open this Ziploc bag if I can, with gloves on. I'll be very happy if I get through this video without doing any other damage to, to Paul's models. Uh, these gloves can be a bit tricky handling delicate parts. So what do we got here? We got um, a 1974 Hot Wheels Rapid Responder. Made in Malaysia. Yeah. That's where my wife was actually born. In uh, Kuala Lumpur. So I'm not sure if he's customised this or if this is standard. Uh, I think I can see that the interior has got some work done on it. Yeah, definitely. Just try and get a good angle so you can see. Yeah, it looks like the steering wheel has been painted. See the chroming? And I'd say the seats. Yep. Possibly the orange indicator lights. Um, maybe some chroming on the back. I'm not sure. It's been done so well. I can't tell if it's from the factory or Paul's actually chromed it. I think he has done some detailing on the lights and the bumper yeah nice one I haven't got I haven't got any of these models so far so yeah thank thank you Sparky all right it's number three <clears throat> excuse me um, let's go with a little pickup truck or ute as we call them in Australia. So we've got a um, another one made in Malaysia. Let's see if I can read it on the camera. What is it? A Datsun 620. K 
Okay, so he's chrome the door handles. I'm not sure he's painted the whole model, but possibly it's like in a matte burgundy, oh not burgundy, like a matte mm, dark red. Um, at the front, I think he's chrome, done some chroming. At the back, I think that was like that originally, that Datsun sign. Looking through the back window, he's definitely detailed the interior. You can see the brown seats. Yeah, and a chrome steering wheel, a chrome gear stick. Yeah, I like the, I like the color. I like how it's matte. Another model I don't have in my collection. Yeah, very nice. I like these old uh, Japanese style yutes. Alright, num that's number four. Alright, um, let's go with this little skid steer, I think it's called. We call them bobcats in Australia. This is highly customized by Paul. It's got a working bucket, uh, which he's chromed. Um, I think the wheels are standard. I'm not sure about the stickers. I think the fire sticker might be a custom. I'm not sure. No, probably not. Does it say on the base if we can read it? Have to be quite careful. I had it right the other way. So I can see 2009 Mattel skid, Skidster or something. Yeah, but like I said, we call them bobcats in Australia. Um, Paul's put on that blue light on the top for me. Is that a tiny little aerial next to it, or is that... No, I think it's a piece of fluff. <laughs> yeah. Um, the interior... I think he's painted the seat. I'm not sure. But anyway, I've always wanted one of these. Um, I really like uh, unusual fire vehicles, and this certainly meets the criteria. Excellent. All right, put him here. All right, now we're into the actual Evo squad, um, consisting of three main vehicles and a trailer and a boat. So I'm just checking I've got in the right order. Yep. All right, I have to be very careful of these aerials. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is Evo 1. It's a uh, Mercedes-Benz um, GM 63 6x6. Six six. And you can see where Paul's um, chromed the front. The headlights and the grille and the bumper. I think the wheels are standard. He's chromed the running board. Uh, he's added the two antennas and the blue flashing lights and a little couple of little blue lights on the just above the windscreen as well he's also added a uh, ladder uh, the tow bar I think was always there uh, I don't think there's any detailing in the interior because it's so the windows are so dark anyway have to be careful of these aerials 
So yeah, that's the base. Uh, Mercedes Benz G63, AMG 6 times 6. Right, and in the back, there's actually a little chainsaw. I don't know how he made a chainsaw. Was that originally there or is that... I'm not sure. And it's got some tools. See if we can get a bit closer here. Yeah, a little orange chainsaw, some tools. Yeah, very well done. So that is Evo 1. Another model I don't have. So with Evo 1, Paul has um, customised a little trailer to go with it. And that is this. And this trailer was a speed trapper. He's done a lot of detailing on the rear lights. And it's got these two running boards and they are so that the um, the boat can roll off it uh, quite easily. And this is the boat that comes with it, with the Evo 1 logo on it. Uh, this was um, made out of the part of another a model. I forget what he told me. I, I've, I said to him, did you make it out of a windscreen? But I think it was a canopy or something from another model. So it's got a big spotlight on the front. A couple of big antennas and a flashing blue light. A set of spotlights. A uh, big engine in the back. <laughs> uh, it's detailed the seats. The steering wheel. The dashboard. A couple of chrome exhausts on the back. This boat would really move, I think. Yeah, so this boat, it fits on the little trailer. I'll just move these out of the way. I have to be very careful. So, yeah, it fits on this little trailer. I'll, I'll hook it up to the, the Mercedes first. So that fits on like that. See that? And then the boat goes on that. Uh, probably tilted like that, I think. Yeah. So look at that. It's a whole complete unit, a rescue unit. Excellent. Fantastic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Uh, so then we're up to Evo 2. Evo 2 is a 2016 Dodge Ram flatbed. Um, yeah, a lot of chroming on the front, the grill and the lights. It's got the Evo 2 sticker on the bonnet. Uh, a lot of chroming work done on the tie down straps and the um the the what do you call it the rim on the tire the um fender um uh, even the door handle's been chromed on the back he's detailed the the lights look at that intricate work around the lights and then the actual lights themselves another color. Same on the other side. <coughs> uh, underneath, there's not much to look at. Um, just 
It's the base. Let's read the base. Made in Thailand, 2018 Mattel. And in the back, you got this um, a chain. Oh, he's added the ladder and the light bar. He's made these himself, the light bars. Uh, of course, the two big antennas. And let me get my pointer. You've got another chainsaw. Probably a Husqvarna or a steel. And you know, some tools. And look at that, a little... It's a little blue case it's full of beer or Bundy ginger beer. <laughs> Apparently that's that's his wife Jules' idea. It's a really nice touch. Thank you, Jewel. Really appreciate that. It makes it very special. Chroming on uh, the rear window protection. Yeah, so this is Evo 2. Great. The visa is so special because these are the only ones in the whole world, I guess. In this colour anyway. <laughs> so we got Evo 1 and Evo 2. And lastly we've got Evo 3. Evo 3 is a, well it says 2007 Honda Ridgeline. Uh, yeah, that's what it says. Let me show you the base. Uh, yeah. See so down the bottom here, 2007 Honda Ridgeline, made in Thailand. I actually thought it was a, an American ute, but apparently not. So we got the Evo Free sticker on it. Got some chroming on the lights and the grill. It could be the Honda badge, I'm not sure. Oh, what's that on the back? That's supposed to be there? I don't think so, is it? No. Oh. So there's a little bit of foam. These were so well packaged, it probably took me 20 or 30 minutes to unpackage them. Uh, I used tweezers because it was so intricate. It was almost like um, deactivating a bomb. I had to be so careful, you know, if I, if I pulled the wrong thing, and well, it wouldn't explode, it would just be damaged. I didn't want that. So, yeah, at the back, got some detailing on the... Um, the handle of the tailboard, some detailing on the lights, got these really nice antennas at the back. I actually had a little bit of damage with this one when I opened it, Sparky. Um, these two little blue lights on top and the whole bar here became detached. Um, it wasn't when I was unpacking it, it actually happened um, from from these fibers this stuff's like like Santa Claus's beard and there was a couple little fibers wrapped around and when I pulled them off it pulled um, the little light blue lights off so I was, <clears throat> excuse me I super glued them on as well as, as, well as I can <clears throat> let's have a look in the interior so yeah there's some detailing in there again Steering wheel, the dashboard. You can see inside there. Yeah, he's gone to a lot of trouble to detail most of the interiors. And on the back. Got a, a toolbox and some a chain or something or rope and another case of um, Bundaberg ginger beer. 
Thanks again, Jewel. I don't know where you got this from. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I guess fighting fires is thirsty work, and you need a, a good supply of um, liquid to rehydrate yourself. So yeah, that's that's Evo Free. Put a little bit of foam in there again. There you go. <clears throat> Be better if you could see it. So there you go, Sparky, they arrived, um, I unboxed them, a little bit of repair work to do, um, as well as this light bar coming off, um, one of the antennas on, on this one, yeah, I think it was this side, this one here had come off, again, um, came off when I pulled the fibres off it, the, the white fluffy stuff. But it wasn't a problem to reattach them. Let me just show you guys the, the packaging. That's it down there. There's a whole bag of Santa Claus's beard. as uh, individual little boxes that were carefully packaged and uh, Ziploc bags, foam lining. So much trouble Sparky and Jewel went to, to to make sure this arrived safely for me in, in one piece. And I, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I've known Sparky for a couple of years. Uh, we share a like for Benny Hill movies and old war movies like, <clears throat> excuse me, old war movies like Kelly's Heroes. Um, what else do I know about Sparky? He's into uh, um, greyhounds. He's he's got I think five rescued greyhounds. Uh, he's a military historian. Uh, he's big, got a bit of a gammy knee at the moment, so that's not good. I hope hope you're feeling better. Hope your knee's getting better, Sparky. Um, what else? Uh, gone blank. So, yeah, really love the models, Sparky. Um, I'm currently getting together some models to send to you. Oh, a little bit crooked, the camera. Get them all in shot. Yeah, so that's the Evo Squad plus a few extras. Um, oh, there's one other thing to do before I close out the video. <clears throat> As I said, Sparky and I share a love for um, salt and vinegar chips. So the least I can do is crack open a, a bag of salt and vinegar chips and share them with him. So here's Sparky. This one's for you. Just have one. Salt and vinegar is my favourite flavour. And washed down with a Bundaberg ginger beer. So cheers, Sparky. Here's to you. Ah. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Like I said, this is my first unboxing. Um, I, I don't really want to encourage you guys to send me stuff. Um, not at the moment anyway, I'm not really set up to to buy cars for people. Um, I really appreciate it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, like I said, it, I'm not really set up at this stage, maybe in the future. Um, yeah, I don't want to sound that I don't appreciate this gift, uh, I really do. Um, yeah. Well, what else can I say? Thanks again, Sparky. Um, hope you have a great day. Thank you, Jewel, for the the boxes of uh, ginger beer in the back. That's a really nice touch. 
And let's just have another look at the um, the gift I got. So these are these are going to become one of my most treasured um, parts of my collection. All these little cars, especially the Evo Squad. Just adjusting my camera, trying to. Yep. Yeah, I'll always treasure these Sparky until the day I die, which I hope isn't too soon. Um, I've, I'm going to have to get a special box to store these in now uh, so that they're well protected and don't get damaged. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a bit longer than I thought, 31 minutes. I uh, hope you are all well. i um, shooting this on a Friday. So everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.